When I thought your first wife was driving us apart, I did not make a stink. You complained all the time, and she was my only wife. And she died. Well, see, things have a way of working themselves out. It's not really a thing as much now in the brave new world of original shows on streaming services since the numbers of people actually watching are obfuscated and even awful shit that nobody is talking about gets renewed. But a decade ago, there were a lot of incredible critical darling shows that were perpetually on the bubble and they knew it. That's our show. Not a lot of people watched it. But the joke's on you because we got paid anyway. And when you know your show is moments from being canceled anyways and that the only people watching are probably in your corner, you might as well have some fun with it and see what you can get away with. No show gleefully tried to get away with as much as it could as Arrested Development, and no episode in particular pushed it as far as the Christmas special, Afternoon Delight. First I blow him, then I poke him. That's my wife and my nephew. I walk in and there's a colored man in my kitchen. Colored? What color was he exactly? Blue. The episode is about throwing a lighthearted Christmas party to make up for Job's tyrannical Christmas party that ends in every employee being fired. But it's also about characters confusing the triple meaning of Afternoon Delight, the 1976 Starland vocal band song, a strain of marijuana, and the act of having sexual intercourse during the afternoon hours of the day as opposed to the far more common nighttime hours. So you have the gag of family members singing the song together and realizing to their horror how sexual the lyrics are, but you also have Michael assuming Oscar is talking about the dirty, deep, and damp instead of pot. Which way do I try to get it in her? Maybe I'll put it in her brownie. Hey! There's really not a lot more to say about this one, because I'd, I'd basically just be explaining jokes at this point. Like, there's the joke where they snuck in the full F word in the show by having half of it in a flashback. Eh, eh you probably already knew about that one. It's Arrested Development during the season 2 and 3 hot streak, and I'd never say a bad word about most of it. I'll just finish by admitting that I've probably never laughed more at a slapstick gag in my entire life. Alright, I can remember one other time. So that's Afternoon Delight. Now you better come back for tomorrow's fucking episode, okay? Can I get an okie dokie, Annie Oakley? Grab some does not seem like it would be that dirty, though. That's the thing.